All right, I'm here on location in uh, Lakeland, Florida. It's about January 10th or 11th. I don't even know anymore. Uh, let's see. These bees are coming in and out of the bottom of this um, little panel in the front of this house that's decorative. And... Um, that's hollow in there all the way up, I'm sure. And I don't know how large the colony is, but there's a lot of traffic, as you can see. Quite a bit of traffic. So my plan is to actually take the whole front of that column off and expose the entire colony, no matter how large or how far up it goes. I want to opt to uh, just try to, um, you know, remove the front of it, nails and everything, instead of trying to saw into this thing. All right, I have them exposed. Look at this, almost all the way from the bottom to the top. It's all honey at the top. And I'm sure that's their brood chamber. Looks like older comb. So this colony's been here for several years. And, uh, look at all this uh, older comb. They look pretty healthy. They sure are not happy I opened this thing up, but uh, they'll settle down. I don't know how some of you guys do these removals unsuited, but hey, to each his own. All right, I'm gonna start vacuuming and then cutting this out. And um, I think I'm gonna opt for a uh, 10 frame deep. Why not? Okay, so I'm about to uh, start vacuuming and then uh, I have my 10 frame Langstroth down there and already have rubber bands ready to go on about five of the frames. I really don't want to keep any more comb than that, not that it necessarily even would be because uh, I don't want a hive beetle uh, festival when I get them home. So. Um, a lot of that comb there at the bottom, I'm just gonna toss out or process, whatever, depending on how old and cruddy it is. And then, of course, all that honey at the top, see all that? That's going in my ice chest. So therefore, just uh, several brood combs in the middle part is what I'm gonna strap in. And I'm gonna save the honey for last, of course, because I just don't wanna get messy until I need to. And uh, I have a water bucket here on hand uh, to wash my hands off as I go. My queen clip's ready. So, anyway, I'm going to start vacuuming. And I'm not going to bore any of you guys with vacuuming because it's loud and monotonous. Okay, I've cut out about and saved about three pieces of comb thus far. That's probably all I'm going to gamble with so they can make sure they can cover it all and uh, not have a hive beetle explosion. I even see a couple of hive beetles crawling around in here. So, all right, I've cut uh, a little bit off the bottom thus far, of course. And, uh, I'm going to vacuum more and keep moving up. I got all the comb cut out. A little bit of chaos right now, but I'm gonna smoke the rest of this crevice out. And guess what? I found the queen. She was right here gathered at the base, you know, like underneath that little thing right there.
Oh, look at that. Sweet, sweet queen. There ain't nothing like catching a sweet, sweet, sweet queen to make everything come together. And make everybody's life happier and easier and... Oh yeah, there we go. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, smoke in here and then spray honeybee gone. But i got to get this hive out of the way first a little bit. And then I'm going to reunite the vacuum bees in there, you know, but I'm going to strap the queen in a frame first. And then uh, they'll be ready to button up and I'll come back and get them at night. Luckily this is in Lakeland and not too far away. Alright folks, here's the section we all know and love called Reunited. Looks like chaos, but it's under control. I said, looks like chaos, but it's under control. And they're not wanting to land in there because I smoked and then honey be gone. And uh, there's just, they're being repelled naturally with uh, natural almond oil and other ingredients that Scott Derrick puts in that uh, product of which I cannot live without. All right, so they have no other option now but to go to my hive with some of their comb that's in there and the queen, and uh, it's over, folks. It's done. You know, there's a few of them out cleaning out other combs that are miscellaneous and things like that, but at nightfall, they're all going to go home into my hive. So, I can put the lid on this thing and then uh, go home soon and come back at nightfall. By the way, I filled up a whole cooler full of honey, honeycomb. But it's going to be fed back to them because it's in the old comb and kind of, you know, I'm not going to crush and strain it for myself, that's for sure. It's going to be eventually fed back to all my bees. All right, it's just a waiting game now until nightfall. All right, I've got the lid on. I used uh, one of the newer migratory lids I use now that I build because it's easier to slide the lid on and not kill any bees.
no desire to land back in their original spot. Party's moved over here, folks. Party's over here. All right, see these girls at nightfall. Okay, I'm back the next evening to pick up the bees. Um, I gave them another evening to kind of settle in. And uh, they have settled in perfectly. In fact, I also brought a frame of honey over here, you know, capped honey, in case they were running low on food supplies. And uh, check out this area. No bees, all gone. So, see that small high beetle. Alright, I'm going to close them up at nightfall, which is here real soon, and uh, we'll open them up. And Actually, I'm going to open them up right when I get home. For some reason, I like uh, opening the bees at night when I get home, so it won't be just like a chaos-type uh, situation when I open them up in the morning. They have all night to kind of settle down, and it's not such a uh, big uh, tornado of bees in the morning when I open them up. <laughs> Here they are in my yard the next morning. I'm about to open them up and uh, check on their general health and uh, release the queen. Okay, I'll have them opened up. Um, there's some honey I placed on a frame for them. I'm gonna give them more honey than that eventually. And here's the queen in the queen clip. But I'm not going to release her until I uh, look through here a little more and confirm the health of the hive, which they look great, by the way. Uh, like I said, I only kept minimal comb, and look how good they have it covered. And that's to prevent prevent, like I said earlier, a, a hive beetle explosion. Okay, they look, they look really good for recovering from a cutout. So uh, let me button all this back up and then I'm going to release the queen once I have all the frames placed in there and Everything's stabilized, and then I'll let her walk in and then put the roof right back on. All right, let's release the queen. Hopefully she went down instead of up in the air. All right. Put the lid on and we're done. Getting ready for spring here in uh, Florida. 
things are starting to really hop.